Okay, so here we are. We're going to rappel. We're in a canyon, and uh, we've already passed the rope through the anchor. This is the side we're going to rappel on, and there are different ways to block this side of the rope, right? If you do a single one rope rappel, then you need to block one side of the rope. And so we, we've seen the figure nine where we tie a knot here, a figure nine knot, and we put a caravan through the knot, and that blocks it. So that's great if you can see the rope down, it's on the ground and you know you're gonna get down, and there's no worries. But sometimes you come to a rappel and you can't see the ground, you can't see it. And so you put the rope down, you think you have enough down there, and then it turns out that the first guy that goes down, he, he's missing, there's still two feet or, or two meters of rope above the ground, so he can't get down. So what do you do? If you have a knot there, you can't do anything. And so the guy is just stuck there hanging. And so there's a way to avoid that, and that's called using or blocking blocking this knot or blocking the anchor with another eight. So usually you always have two eights when you're in a, in a canyon in case you drop one, in case whatever happens. And so this is the eight that I'm going to use to repel. I've got an extra one. This extra one you can use to block the anchor. And we'll show you how to do that right now. So... <coughs> You take, you take a, a bite of the rope, here we are, you pass it under, like so, right? So, similar to what you rappel with. And so, you, now it's like this, now you take the other end that's going back off to your bag, your extra rope, and you, you take another bite, and you pass it through that big hole. You pass it under, and then over the top of the small hole. And now that is blocked. So you pull that down, and it's blocked here on your anchor. So now you can easily repel off of this. It's completely blocked. And so obviously it can't go through this little hole here in the quick link, and so you're ready to repel. And so the difference with this is that now if I'm repelling down, I get to the end. I can't see the bottom. I think the rope's on the ground, but then I get there and it's not. And what do I do? I'm three or four meters above the ground. The person that's up here at the top, they can simply take this rope, the slack rope that is all up here in your backpack, and all my weight is on here, I'm repelling. So you, you can simply push that rope through, see how it just came out? You pull it out, and now, as I'm still pulling on the rope, because all my weight's here, this person can control my descent. And so, they can control my descent like this, and then when I'm down, I say, okay, I'm on the ground, then they stop, and then they can re-thread it again, so now they can use this to then repel themselves. So, I'll show you that again. Here it is. They've helped me down just by controlling the friction, so now it's time for them to repel. You make a small bite, and you pass it through the top and then over the top of this small ring. And there it is, they're ready to go. It's blocked again. You pull on.